Okay, so today I've got a bit of time, probably 15 minutes or so, so follow up from my earlier simple cloud formation effort by uh, firing up a Bitnami PHP BB instance using cloud formation just to kind of show you how easy this is. Uh, first of all, we're going to flick over to Bitnami to PHP BB, and these guys are really cool. I really like Bitnami. And, uh, what they've done here is kind of interesting if we scroll down a little bit. So you can have a native, a VM, cloud version, of course, which is the traditional AMI approach. And then right at the bottom, kind of hidden out of view here, we have this thing called cloud formation. Cloud formation, we'll go through a little bit about what it is in a minute over on the AWS side. But what's really cool is that the guys at Bitnami have made this so very, very simple now. Even more so than just firing up a standard AMI, which you can see above here. But what we're going to do, we're going to take the template file, which is essentially a JSON payload, for want of a better word, that allows cloud formation to interpret which resources need to be put together, orchestrated, and deployed for the application workload. So, like all good demos, I've already got a copy of the template file here. So, the phpbb.template file. And then what we'll do, we'll switch over to AWS. So those of you familiar with the management console, of course I've got the S3 storage service up here, but easy to compute, my VPC, CloudWatch, EMR, CloudFront, and now this new cool thing called CloudFormation. So first thing we're going to go do is create a new stack. So the stacks are basically the components that are required to run the workload. That includes load balancers, database instances, AMIs, and such. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to create a new stack. And then we're going to call this PHPBB, and we're going to say, in fact, this already comes with templates, which I did in the earlier demo of this, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that again. But I'm going to say upload a template file, which, of course, as you saw before, is in here. So I'm going to go PHPBB template, and I'm going to hit continue. And so here's where it gets really cool. So obviously within that JSON payload here is some information that I can amend. This is all driven of course by the options that are inside that template file. So I can just go ahead and change this to me and then my email can be this and the password which of course I won't tell you what it is but it's going to be this and then the username is going to be the same. I'm not going to change that I'm not going to change anything on the instance type. Just give it a key name so obviously I can get direct SSH access to the device when it's finished. Hit continue. And I can edit some notifications here if I want to do some good stuff on that. And then I can edit some more parameters, the ones I've just entered in on the previous. I'll just go ahead and create the stack. And it's really as simple as that. So in the background now, AWS will begin to interpret what's needed from the template file, plus adding any of the options that I put in there, as you saw in the parameters. And we'll just kind of follow this along here. So we see the create in progress. We can look at this, scoot this up a little bit. And so what's really quite cool on this is it lets you kind of monitor what's going on. So you can sort of take a look at what's happening here. So you've got the outputs in here, no outputs in this particular one. But you've got resources here, so this is what will happen here from the security group perspective. You see that's complete. The events are so the things that are going on. The template that was used, so this is the JSON payload. Pretty impressive stuff, really simple. And then, of course, at the end here, we've got the parameters that you saw me enter during the setup request. So if we just hit refresh on here. And we hit refresh up here. And we'll see that the create is complete. And so what we can do now is pretty cool. In some of the output file, you can actually give instance names and give elastic IPs and other things that were uh, were outputs of the of the template file. But all I really need to do to get a look at what's going on here is just jump over onto EC2. And within my EC2 environment, you should be able to see that I've got running instances here. Just jump over and take a look. And there's the Bitnami one that we looked at here. So that's kind of part of the spin up, if you will, of the orchestration. And then. 
So we can select this pretty easily. Just uh, take a look at what it is in terms of the EC2 name that we get here. So we'll see that this is the name from FQDN. We can go ahead and copy that. And then what we'll notice on here, if we go into Elastic IPs, as, again as part of the setup there, as part of the template file, an Elastic IP was allocated to this. So we'll see that it's tied to this instance, 4D3. And if we just go take a look again back here over the running instances, we'll see that 4D3. So the Elastic IP associated with the Bitnami instance as part of the template file. And so we'll just go in and start a new tab within Safari here, and then we'll and paste the name that we picked up and there we are it's really how simple it is to get a bitnami workload up using amazon cloudfront and it's not cloudfront it's cloud formation my god how many times do i get this wrong anyway have fun take care bye for now